Podcast is back here prematurely on Longbox.fm. Usually you're premature. And we are brought to you by Riley's Brewing. Thanks, Thanks Riley. And before, Thanks, Riley's. Before we go any further, let's just stop real quick and mention oh this. My goddamn vacation. Uh, <laughs> this broadcast is copyrighted by the fine folks at Longbox.fm for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this broadcast or any other pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the show without Longbox FM's consent is prohibited. Don't use our shit for your fucking commercial. <laughs> Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, we just set the tone for tonight. <laughs> can, I still, fucking, uh. can I still use this show to get laid? Well, has that worked for you? No. Um, okay. Not once. If it didn't work for me, it's not working for you. It, <laughs> Kenneth, it would never work yeah. for you. Yeah. Come on. Um, yeah, we're back. So, <laughs> hey. we uh, we cut it short. We were supposed to be gone until April, but a little little something something fell in our lap this last week. Mm-hmm. Um, apparently, uh, we had back in November uh, a guest, Clint Olivier, on the show, and in the process of the interview. Some of the audio has been used against him in a current ad. Specifically, some. Yeah, <laughs> definitely not all of it. <laughs> no. Nope. So we we are going to talk about that later on here tonight. Uh, we got. I, I'm ready to fire, but it hit. It caught fire. Viral. 165 thousand hits in three days. Bam. So I, I think damn. in our history we've never ever had that. So that's great. Woot. And uh, still, kind of can't get laid. <sighs> I if you sixty five thousand people saw you and none of them want to have sex with you, it's because they saw me hammered talking to Clint Olivier. <laughs> that's part of the course, though. Yeah, that's yeah. usually Normal. you're hammered. I don't not not always talking to Clint Olivier, but mm. well, if you guys want to participate, um, I right now I'm waiting for my computer to boot up. But Cotty is sitting in the room. She's sick. She you can just type with her on the YouTube page. Uh, you can find us in any way. Dirty Dowdy at Longbox out of Fem YouTube. I would say Skype, but that's also not going on at the moment. And, of course, the show, hashtag it, hashtag DDP Live. We have a special guest tonight. We brought back good old friend, uh, I don't know, Nick Nick Knock It Back? Or are we that's d- right. Dick Shapley. That's right. As of tonight, Dick Shapley Esquire, because yep. I deserved and earned that degree on my own. Thank you, Selma Community College and Lubin Tune. All right? <laughs> <laughs> Laugh now. They do good work. No, I they do you. amazing work. It's Have fantastic. you seen what they can do to oh, yeah. uh, litigation and family court, as well as your Hyundai Excel? <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful well, stuff. He's. Uh, you're actually here in part because I've been advised by. I've actually talked to multiple lawyers in the last week who've been calling me to give me advice or to tell me to protect my ass, things like that. You so you're know what? Here. That's exactly right. And I'm glad I can because from what I'm hearing, just the uh, the jargon. Being, th- really. being tossed around yeah. is filthy, right? And I don't want to name any names or look at anybody in particular, but I'm going to make sure to save you from any horrible consequences <laughs> in the near future, okay? okay? Monetary or otherwise. <laughs> well, I don't want to lose any money here. <laughs> you mean any more money? How do we lose <laughs> no <Right>. money? <laughs> well, it's a, it's a bigger bill. That's all. Uh, so let's, uh, let's go right to things we learned. It's time to showcase what we have learned in the last week. Molestar. This is a recurring lesson, uh, but today at work I learned that brand new razor blades are very sharp and do not discriminate. (laughs) (laughs) I also learned that if you want to become a millionaire, invent a band-aid that you can open with one hand. Did you shape someone of another race? (laughs) I don't know how you got all that. <laughs> He's a lawyer. He the, finds the things. razors weren't discriminating. I just got to advise you: don't shave other races. No, no. Stick, stick to your own race if you're going to be shaving. That's strangers. exactly right. <laughs> no, you're right. I've I've I follow that advice pretty sternly. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, going around the room. Anybody learn anything? Yeah, I got one. Yep. I, so I've had this iPhone 4s for like three and a half years now. <sighs> And so one thing I did learn is that if you set it ever so nicely against your nightstand on a leather booklet, it will crack for no apparent reason. 
Uh, I've dropped this thing on freaking asphalt, blacktop. I've had it stuck in between salt seat belts. I've had it cracked against windows. Question. What? Did you by chance yell before I it broke? you did. <laughs> or just speak in general? <laughs> did you breathe? You might have breathed. <laughs> he answered it went, hello, and it went, <laughs> Just decimated, <laughs> just shattered into pieces. No, I just, I just set it down on my nightstand, and it went crack. I'm gonna go with the voice. Yeah, that's yeah. more believable. Yeah, I just screamed at it. Yeah. All right, it's probably a snoring. sorry. Alex, um, I I learned that riding a motorcycle is way more fun than it should be, and so that's what <laughs> I really want to be doing right now. Fantastic. How's so, that going, by the way? Fun. How's, I haven't killed myself. How's the license going? It's it's there. Good. Cool. <laughs> Funny thing about it's licenses. Around. <laughs> do do you have the license or is it just there? It's some. It's in. It's always somewhere. There's well, I mean, I don't have. I don't have the one lawyer. that says I'm an M1 licensed okay. writer yet. So what you're doing right now is illegal. No, 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 no. <laughs> on the streets of Fresno, California. No, 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 no. Not at all. Okay. Technically. Remember, attorney-client privilege here. <laughs> right. That's what we're rocking. And everyone else listening. All right. That's why we had the disclosure. What's your license plate number? <laughs> no, 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 we don't need that. Jenny, what do you got? I learned that if you put me on timeout for a week, your whole entire show goes to shit and things just blow up. <laughs> and all of a sudden you have lawyers calling you. Because <laughs> phone breaks. That's because we don't have the mom to tell us what to do. <laughs> I slice my finger. Yes. I'm sorry, boys. I shouldn't have left. Uh, Jason. I, uh, I apparently learned that my dick has the memory of a goldfish. And, yeah. Oh no! Speaking of slot, you did. Yeah, did you? Oh, yeah. Of course you did. Oh yeah. my god! Yeah. Are you kidding me? Did you really have to ask? No, I kind of figured because question? he disappeared for a few days. Mm-hmm. Kind of like that shameful. I know I did something. I know I shouldn't have, and I know you would give me shit for that's it. So I'm just gonna hide. That's the first time you've had sex and felt shamed about it, huh? No. No. What's the shame? What's the shame you're talking about? He doesn't feel shame. <laughs> uh, Nick, any any issues with going back to an ex girlfriend for uh, a fling? Um, it, does she have any of your progeny or descendants, or have you uh, spilled any DNA in her? <laughs> um, the last part, probably. Yes. Okay. Now, would so. rocket out of a shoot be the same as you spilling? know what? It doesn't matter if you did it organically it's just, it's just or if you relative. had somebody else help you out with that. You might want to wait a gestation period of around nine months and then <laughs> go ahead and talk to her again. That that is a thought of mine. I was like, well, maybe she stopped taking birth control and I just wouldn't know. Oh, well, that's bad for you. It yeah. gets deeper. Yeah, I'll it's slide so you my deep. card at the end of the show. That's good. I'm probably going to need that. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I learned what the feeling of viral is, and it's exhausting. Oh, yeah. There was a whole day where uh, I, I had thought to... you knew about the feeling of viral. No, you know, from no. The last now, the actually, cancer scare and all that shit. Are we talking about AIDS? That's coming. <laughs> no, um, AIDS. Ask his OBGYN, <laughs> and I'm saying that as his attorney. <laughs> <laughs> do not talk to him about anything viral. <laughs> now you have to do it. <laughs> I did a. Uh, I do like to say that I feel good because we've been talking about videos we've posted and done. The 360 camera that we have, our normal show, we try to post things that are smart and funny and get like funny. like two listeners. And you get some, like slot centipede stuff all the time. It's just the dumbest thing ever and it's got like 8.5 million. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I was getting to the point, it's like, okay, somebody's going to have to film me running head first into something. Yeah. So we can get somewhere. Mm. And, and to actually get people to tune into a video that was created by us that was smart and talking about politics, I'm like, okay, yay. People are actually smart in some sense, and unfortunately now we have to be smart in politics. Shit. Fuck. Yeah. I don't think so. Are you sure this year? Have you looked at several of the nominees? Yeah, I think we're like 80 years late. I think that's why we're getting in. There, there's a big you know, chasm. So of we've been here the whole time. We've point. just been waiting for the, yeah. for the bar to go. Oh, look at that. It's a political <laughs> double dutch right now. You just got to jump in right now. Yo mama is a bitch, bitch, bitch. <laughs> I played That's legal dutch. advice. You see what happens when I get hammered on the show is you suddenly get views. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we uh, we are going to be doing more. We're talking more about this this whole political boondoggle, if you will. And what? we are... What? <laughs> boondoggle. Wow. You know what? what? I just advise you, not as your lawyer, but just in general, <laughs> don't say shit like that. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Way to not have your dick sucked. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Uh, we are giving away Stone Shiver tickets to their album 
release on March 19th at Strummers. That's going on here tonight. We uh, we also, again, I want to remind people, make Fresno better. Hashtag make Fresno better. I think we did with this video, and you'll find out more about that later. We uh, we also have a great game tonight. We're going to be talking about high-speed rail. We're yeah. going to be talking about the Fulton Mall water and other important topics that are that hot-button topics here in the Valley. And we're going to be talking about them as Donald Trump, Rubio, all that stuff in the voice-off, the yeah. political version tonight. Let's see how that goes. But let's go ahead and take a quick break. Hot in here. When we get back, we're going to be doing the Celebrity Clam Bake with Alex. Mm-hmm. And you're, you're coming strong today, right? Oh, totally not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the Dirty Daddy Podcast here on Longbox.fm. We'll be right back. You want to start touching yourself right now? Oh, <laughs> yeah, what was that fires off comment? I thought it maybe was something to do with Twitter, but it seems maybe more it's the to do with firing off. Firing off, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And we're firing yeah. off right now. You guys are all okay with this? <laughs> firing off? I have to live with them, so I have to hear them fire off all the time. Oh, you can hear it? Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You it's never usually, hear me, it's and I hear you. Like his jizz is auditory? You can hear it come out of the hole? <laughs> yeah, he's disappointed. Freedom! <laughs> 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 You're listening to the Dirty Daddy Podcast on Longbox.fm. Doesn't it suck to run out of cell phone minutes? I agree. So if you got no minutes to spare and you still want to share, hit up Longbox.fm on Skype by calling Longbox FM. You'll get Dirty Dowdy and the rest of the Longbox crew. So whether you got minutes to share or none to spare, hit us up on Skype at Longbox FM. Hi, my name is Lindsay, and I'm searching for love. I want to do music because I know people need my music. People need Kanye West albums. My real apology to her will not come in the form of words. When people say that I'm not like an airhead and things like that, it's not true at all. All the stupid things celebrities do, it's the Celebrity Clan Bake. All right, we're kicking this off. Celebrity Clan Bake here on the Dirt Daddy Podcast on Longbox.fm. Fire away, Alex. All right. So we're starting off with some news. Uh, Nancy Reagan passed away at the age of 94 on Sunday. Oh, that's solid. Oh, yeah, the that's former not a good to start on. Yeah, yeah. the former First Lady was uh, living in Bel Air and had been fall- uh, in failing health in recent years. Uh, she died from congestive heart failure at her home. She died from being 94. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, Miss Reagan married Ronald in 1952 and went on to become First Lady, who was at first uh, severely criticized for her fancy taste, uh, particularly in China, but uh, went on to Racial. become beloved, <laughs> along with her husband. Uh, she is going to be buried uh, on Friday uh, next to her husband at the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library in Simi Valley. Her body's currently in repose at the Can, can I just say that presidential. I'm currently flying my flag at half-staff in her honor? Oh, I, Jesus. You're always flying okay. half-staff. Well, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> um, but most notably, she's known for her time as First Lady when she created the Just Say No to Drugs campaign. That bitch. Damn. And it worked perfectly. Which turned into the, <laughs> let's just say, maybe I uh, might give it a shot. Okay, that one's too much. We're not going to go there. Speaking of drugs, um, Cat Williams was arrested after cops raid his home, find drugs, and guns. Quick, uh, the cop, the cut a light. <laughs> Cat Williams is once again locked up uh, after cops found weed and firearms while serving a search warrant at his home. Uh, the Hall County Sheriff's Office in Georgia say the warrant was part of an investigation into Cat that began on March 1st after one of Cat's bodyguards claimed he was beat with a baseball bat and choked after refusing to engage in criminal activity on Cat's behest. Question. When the police were searching, did they find any stored up, hidden away comic skill? Oh, I, I, I was hoping they'd find some step stools. Um, oh. uh, but the bodyguard claimed Cat uh, threatened to kill him, but said the assault was carried out by others in the group because Cat probably couldn't reach his face with a fist. Um, when <laughs> cops raided Cat's home Tuesday morning, they found several firearms and a large quantity of marijuana. Cat was booked on aggravated assault, uh, terrorist threats, and false imprisonment. Cops say uh, they will also add the drug and weapon charges. Just you know, a little, just break a little on top. Yeah, Nancy um, Reagan would be disappointed. I uh, know. <laughs> with the decisions Cat Williams what's, had made. He what's didn't the say no. uh, equivalent? Uh, a black man having a large amount of marijuana. What's the white man equivalent of drug? 
Um, Money? Well, I'll get there yeah. in just a moment. I was oh. say cocaine. But I want to say uh, his latest brush with the law puts Cat at, the, uh, at a tally of four, and that includes uh, <laughs> after allegedly holding five women at gunpoint, assaulting a pool store clerk, becoming a battery suspect in L.A., and this was all within one week. Now, what? does he wow. win, or is it still Richard Pryor for burning his dick with a crack pipe? I think uh, I'd still say it's Richard Pryor. Yeah, okay. I think it's Richard Pryor. He burned a bad. dick. It's you... too bad he didn't spend that much work on his material. I know. <laughs> If he, if he could get on TV that many times in a week, he'd be doing all right. He looks very much like a tweaker that lives by my house. I'm deep in the tower, so I'm in the heart of Mesopotamia. Oh, no, that's, that's Cat yeah. Moon. <laughs> yeah, he, he moves. I know. I know. I see them all the time myself. Um, speaking of, uh, well, I mean, the white man equivalent you said was cocaine. Well, Robert Downey Jr.'s son, uh, judges dismisses, a judge dismissed his cocaine case. Uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s son was followed in his footsteps, uh, getting his drug record wiped clean. Indio Downey showed up at an L.A. courthouse Tuesday morning, where a judge dismissed his cocaine case after he submitted proof he had successfully completed a drug diversion program. Is that one where you... Diversion? They give you different drugs? <laughs> you confuse the drug. They didn't know which way. Quick, to quick. go up to. <laughs> the, the dismissal comes two months after California Governor Jerry Brown gave Robert Downey Jr. a full pardon for his drug conviction, convictions when he was a young man. Uh, in spoke to Judge Lauren Weiss Bernstein in open court saying, I would like to say I am truly grateful for the experience I had over the last 20 months in recovery. <laughs> he went on, I'm so blessed to have made my life back. I hope to have be an inspiration he to work with high. others in the future. He I want a re- tune out right now. <laughs> I do too. Indio was arrested back in June of 2014 in West Hollywood when cops drove alongside the vehicle in which he was riding and noticed he was smoking something out of a pipe. Cops found coke on the actor's son. Uh, the dismissal erases the entire criminal case um, and he doesn't have any record of it. Goodness, that's thrilling. So he's got his dad's cocaine <laughs> habit, right? He's got his dad's That coke, can be inherited. Cane habit and penance for lawyer, getting away with... But not his Dude, he, at least he doesn't have his dad's successful acting career. Thank God for that. Yeah, he does have the looks of or a washed-up Gavin Rossdale, though. Kinda. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, that? yeah. Mm, I'd go more <laughs> Sons of Anarchy. I uh, kind of agree. Yeah, little, I don't know. Yeah. Looks like a hippie. Oh, well, next story. Um, anyway, <laughs> uh, Chris Brown in. is back in the news. Oh, thank God. Oh, and who cares? Saying it's <laughs> not my fault when someone gets shot because Chris Brown is striking back at a guy who got shot at one of his concerts claiming it's not his problem. Paul Briley says in a lawsuit he was shot a year ago during Chris Brown concert in San Jose. Uh, he claims Brown is responsible because he attacks, the, he attracts a violence and should be has, should have maintained better security. Uh, Briley points to the fact that there have been two shootings during Brown's performances where people uh, have been seriously hurt in the other incidents. Uh, one Oak in WeHo, uh, two say, people were shot, including Suge Knight. I would He's say that his, that... his violence attracts people, right? You know, Rihanna. Well, no. He, he, no, he's that guy that punched uh, Aaliyah in that plane crash. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you're, you're you know, right as on top Brown's of it. attorney, I have to say I find this very unsavory. Okay, <laughs> Brown but is ha- asking the judge to toss the lawsuit. We'll see what actually happens there. Oh, I'm sure there will be a follow up. Someone get weeks. that man some free health care. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Once you tattoo your neck, you've you've accepted. You better well. have a wicked jump shot and be in the NBA, or at this point, I guess have a fizz face and. Let's people get shot at your concert. Now, is that something you're allowed to say? No. <laughs> <laughs> I retract legal that statement <laughs> and divert my drug use to somewhere else. Um, there were some really cool uh, posters posted in New York City in the subway. Um, Spaceballs 2 posters to search for more money. Um, oh, awesome. <laughs> Mel Brooks heard about this. He said, those ain't mine, but I love them. Uh, he swears he wasn't the mastermind behind the viral marketing scheme for Spaceballs 2 by plastering posters in the New York City subway, but he couldn't be happier it happened. Brooks laughed off the rumors Sunday in Beverly Hills, says he's thrilled uh, that the fl- flick is held in such high esteem by the youngins. Uh as for the long-awaited sequel, uh, Mel plays coy, but it's definitely on his mind. So wait a minute. Uh, somebody else used his material and he actually likes it? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I cool. should Uh-oh. probably think that way. You know what else? <laughs> Beetlejuice 2. Yeah. That, yeah. That's actually happening, though. Hell yeah. Yep. Yeah. But we're not here to talk about movies. We're here to talk about parents in China. Yeah, we are. Yay. That's 
Pops recently. Who sold their 18 day old daughter to buy an iPhone and a motorcycle? Yeah. <laughs> well, they're interchangeable. I'm surprised right? they got that much. They had no idea it is illegal. A young couple in China decided to sell their newborn online and use the money to purchase a new iPhone and a motorcycle before being tracked down by the police and arrested. Wait, what do you mean wait. I can't sell my kids? Why? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Was it like. Why not? <laughs> it is a renewable resource. Was it like an indentured servant that would eventually make another iPhone? It, you know. <laughs> for, yeah. Well, if it's a girl, they just give them away, right? You know, isn't it kind of like Bitcoin? You can just crap one out every nine months and get richer? It's literally a 3D printer that takes like 18 years. <laughs> you buy now! Uh, a, a local, yeah, the local media reports that the father, who was only 19 years old when the, his baby girl was born, and the mother, whose age was not disclosed because there she was go. underage, decided to sell their daughter online and started looking for a potential buyer on China. Chinese messaging app QQ. Makes sense. They quickly found an interested buyer who said he wanted to purchase the little girl for his sister. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's, that's a sweet, sweet birthday. Yeah. That's, that's sweet the, underpinning. The father and the, getting hey, someone a pony. Hey, sis, you want a baby? The father oh, and the... Oh, God. Dude, uh, write yourself down. That's, that's the low point uh, right yeah, there, yeah, even Nick, though it was pretty yeah, good. Tell him. I can't even... I don't even know where to start with that. That's, <laughs> that's Kenneth coming from Kenneth. Kerman. Um, <laughs> they quickly about, found an interested buyer who wanted to purchase... Oh, wait. I didn't know this was illegal, accordingly, the mother said. Chinese police managed to track down the young couple and arrested both the mother and the father uh, to bring them into court. The judge sentenced the father to three years in jail while the mother received a two and a half year suspended prison sentence because she hasn't completed her studies. That's all you get for selling your kid? There's the difference between... And even better, the police uh, claim that the father sold the baby without the mother's consent, and yet oh. she wasn't really affected that she lost her baby girl. So, uh, whatever. I Does myself get was to keep the motorcycle, though? That's I don't know. Where's my doing? iPhone? Did they have to <laughs> refund the guy and like get the baby back and stuff? I don't, I don't know. I, don't, I, I didn't go... They didn't get that far. But um, the mother goes on to say, I myself was adopted, and many people in my hometown send their kids to other people to raise them. I really didn't know it was You mean legal. school? Yeah. Um, <laughs> daycare? Secretary Clinton would say it takes a village. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When Obama would say it takes a, d a drone to destroy that well, village. Why can't I sell my baby? Everybody else in town's doing it. When hearing that the two parents got arrested, the online buyer also decided to turn himself in to the police, uh, but it's not yet clear if he was sent to prison or not. What's more shocking, however, is the judge decided to let the buyer's sister raise the child because of the difficult condition their young parents were dealing with. <laughs> so it worked out. <laughs> so she gets the baby That's great. Anyway. <laughs> Speaking of Chinese <laughs> man dealing with strange women, a uh, man's girlfriend and ex-partner jump into river to see who he'll rescue. A confused boyfriend <laughs> was faced with a tricky choice. This is like Spider-Man so 2 left, strategy. Wait, wait. So he left After them both, both drown, his right? ex and current girlfriend <laughs> threw themselves into a river uh, to see who he would rescue. The bachelor. Like, meet survivor. Lucia, um, 21. <laughs> had broken up with long-term girlfriend Jun Tang, 20, after meeting new love Rong Zhao, 22, in Ningbo, China, in East Zhenjiang province. That really must have been sucky to read just now. No, hey. it's not that bad. He dumped the Tang. <laughs> but over the following three months, uh, Jilted Jun uh, kept hassling him to get back with now her just and pressuring Rong <laughs> to leave him. Stroke. That's pretty wrong. Eventually, we decided to arrange a meeting between the three of them at a nearby park next to a river. Uh, I was sick. I was sick of being nagged from no. both sides. He said, "No." Oh wait. Oh wait. Actually, Dowdy really wants to I read really this. I really want to do this. <laughs> so I'm gonna let. It, I'm gonna go back. I didn't say that last part. Dowdy, go right ahead. I, I'm sick of being nagging from both sides. He said. <laughs> Wrong was mom about June. June was mom about her, and it all got too much. <laughs> I became confused who I want, so I thought, well, it would be best if we all met and talked about it. But when they got to the river, the situation went from bad to worse. Our girls began arguing. June flipped and jumped off bridge and jumped in the water. She was calling for help, but then Wong also left over saying it would hurt on my ex. I completely dumbfounded, didn't know what's going on. <laughs> but then I realized I had to do something, so I jumped in to say wrong. After dragging <laughs> the soaking wet girl ashore, Wu phoned his brother to rescue the floundering ex before taking Rong home. Meanwhile, Ru's brother called the fire brigade, who arrived at the scene and helped Jun out of the water. Oh, no. Shot him both. In the Wait, face. he just left her there. Yeah, uh, I'm going to say this part because this, this isn't him. Uh, she was taken to a hospital, but was released soon after without any major is, is, uh, injuries. A hospital spokes, uh, spokesman said. I was put in such a difficult situation. I had to make a choice between right and wrong. Uh, who I, admitted? I chose wrong. Wrong choice, motherfucker. Jesus. Dowdy, as your Hashtag counsel, wrong choice. I hope that at the very least you can write a check to the uh, Asian Studies Committee or whatever the hell the NAACP is for Asian people. Because just, just write. Just it's, write. It's post. It post dated. Just I make it out to Chinese. <laughs> 
I gave him one child. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Cotty, get on that. That was enough of that. That was enough of that. Uh, all right. So now we go from, from China. Oh, why we go China? We go to Illinois. Rizal, Illinois. Uh, oh, police uh, in Rizal, Illinois, right? yeah. are warning drivers of the risk of drinking and driving after <laughs> officers stopped a driver in northwest in a northwest suburb traveling with a 15-foot tree embedded in the front grill of a <laughs> car. Sir, are you aware you are traveling with a tree? <laughs> Do you know why I pulled you over? <laughs> <laughs> in a recent post on the department's Facebook page, police said a car was stopped a few weeks ago after a police officer saw it driving southbound on Roselle Road with the tree still stuck in the front end. After yeah. stopping the driver, the officer noticed the airbags had been deployed, police said. The driver was arrested for driving under the influence of alcohol. How do you know he no. was drunk? <laughs> it's, that's a green energy right there. What tree officer? Oh. <laughs> Very smart. Yeah. And for all you plebs on the that internet, was a terrible joke, super happy about Boo. this. <laughs> Real quickly, just so everyone knows, everyone here drinks Ripley's responsibly. Riley's. <laughs> Riley's, but good job. I would say Ripple. I was drinking some Ripple in the bathroom, but Riley's. All right, all right. Uh, Moot, a.k.a. Chris Poole, uh, will bring his online community know-how over to Mountain View. Google hired the creator of 4chan, Moot. Uh, It didn't take long for 4chan creator Chris Poole, better known as Moot, to find a new home after selling his brainchild. Google has hired Poole to take advantage of his 12 years of experience building online communities based on anonymity. Um, He is uh, known as the hacker 4chan, if you ever watch the news. Nope. Nope. You never, Not until this last weekend. I don't watch news. <laughs> um, I still don't watch you, it. If you've ever heard of Anonymous, they were they became a thing because of the website. He used so to you'd own. say he's the father of Anonymous? But he's not father anonymous. Anonymous. It's usually having an anonymous father. <laughs> but uh, there, was, there was a lot of memes and countless pranks. Um, he's jumping from internet county culture to the mainstream in less than a year. Uh, uh, it's not surprising given the incentives. Um, Poole didn't make a lot of money off 4chan, but uh, Google did hire him, so he made a bunch of money because, you know, Google pays well. Because he's a smart dude. And that, my friends, was the Celebrity Clan Bake after a week off. And man, I really wish I had two more. Oh. <laughs> well, we're going to have some more. We're going to take a break. The Dirty Daddy Podcast here on Longbox.fm. When we come back, we're going to be getting into all the hubbubaloo that went on this last week. Clint Olivier, Joaquin Arambula, videos, news sources. We've had news crews here in the studio. We'll get into all of that when we get back here. It's the Dirty Daddy Podcast here on Longbox.fm. <laughs> I'm completely dead. I can't see, like, who's doing what. What do you online. think about the fact that he chose wrong? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did you catch my hashtag? As soon as choice. he dropped in, I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Although, you know what? Spot on, by the way. <laughs> Spot on. With our your, timing uh, was pretty oh, good with your voice. Chris, I, I think our, our timing was pretty good there. He yeah. said. <laughs> <laughs> To the Dirty Daddy Podcast on Longbox.fm. This segment of the show is brought to you by Peeves Public House. Peeves is a hyper local space for residents to experience the Central Valley's best casual pub food and drink. Check them out at peevespub.com. Turn that off immediately, please. Take that. Take that off immediately. Daddy, Wait, Jesus what? Christ, are you kidding me? What? Do you know who that is? Yeah, that's Prince. Formerly known as. And you cannot, by any legal stretch of the means, play that. Do you, are you on conference call with Capitol Records right now? Can I ask you that? I Say yes, follow dude. them a, on Twitter. Okay that's exactly wrong. Right. <laughs> Keegan, I swear to God, if you play another snippet of that, one more millisecond of it, I am out of here, and you guys are fucked. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, okay? wait. I'm sorry. I, I asked, I'm just looking out I for asked you. permission? Did you? Oh, it's okay to lie to a lawyer. <laughs> it's okay. Hold on. I'm asking in? permission right now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh my God, he did Get it. Get rid of that. Oh my God. <laughs> Prince, we're sorry. Oh. I am apologizing on behalf of everybody here. I'll send my dollar twenty-five to Warner's. Uh, this is the Dirty Dowdy podcast here on Longbox.fm. Wait. Now owned by Warner's. Isn't it only illegal? <laughs> Thanks, <if> Warner's. <laughs> it's only illegal for making money off of it, right? So we're okay. Ooh, yeah. Where does where does that fit in? There's not been a dollar made here? No. no. Not one. No. Nobody Never. here? Seven no. years. Nope. In seven years. No. I've actually lost money. Bucks. Bump that shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. His, his financial graph is just red. He never even <laughs> bought a black <laughs> pen. He's still in 2000. <laughs> He's still buying houses in 2008. Yeah. 
Uh, this shit's gonna pop, yo. <laughs> So anyways, this uh, this segment, of course, brought to you by Rally's Brewing. Thanks, Rally's. Thanks, Rally's. And we get to have a little Cheers. bit of fun now. Ripley's. So to those who don't know. <laughs> ripples. Ripples. I like to rub my ripples when I drink Rally's. <laughs> Rally's new uh, ripple brew. The fact that you have ripples is disturbing. Oh, uh, no, touch your ripples. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Cody, uh, why did you leave me? <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we, I want to. She's still here. Oh, she's thanks, getting here ripples. like normal. <laughs> Slap the belly and ride the ripples in. Woo! Shush! <laughs> so, <laughs> the reason uh, the the reason why we came back early, uh, the, the reason uh, if you've been following my Facebook, you would probably have seen it, or you've probably blocked me already because I would too. Um, but uh, Clint Olivier, as I said earlier in the show, was on back in November, and he uh, you know he was the first politician to ever step foot on our show, be in our studio, and of course we have a, a history of breaking up bands and killing comics, and now well political careers. Yeah, as uh, his words were cut up and used in a commercial against him um now as i do this uh sound boy try to find the original not that one yet so oh yeah the sound by the sound button there we go I, my computer's broken tonight so i can't do everything myself i gotta rely on this guy so anyways the the commercials and i'll show you here the example of it <laughs> do, it, do it a fine job <laughs> here we go he's got it does he Turn the volume up on it. Oh, Bobby. Clint Olivier, in his own words, right. you will come across different people in, in, in our society and go out in the street and people say, well, you have a right to, to clean water. That's a luxury item. People say, well, you have a right to an education. You have a right to clean air. Do you feel these are rights? I don't. There's going to be people that, that, that are listening to this right now. Say, oh, that's ridiculous. What do you mean? Drinking water is a luxury item. And, th- and that's fine. No, it's not fine. Education <laughs> is a right. Clean water is a right. Clean air is a right. Clint Olivier is wrong. Is that the old guy from the uh, Quaker Oats box yes. talking? Yes. I think so. Wilfred Brimley, him. right? Yes. yes. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I got Wilfred Brimley. Brimley. It's got the <laughs> diabetes. The diabetes guy. I heard a familiar voice on Sponsored there. Sponsored by diabetes. <laughs> so I'm not going to bore you guys with the actual video I made, but late Saturday night I put together a six-minute long video and I put it on YouTube and it showed that commercial and then the actual about four minutes of audio that captured all the words that he said just not exactly in that order and yeah. not necessarily with that true meaning yeah not entirely in that context you mean a political ad taken out of context i know it's crazy oh, shit. slow down <laughs> now okay we all know these, these ads these commercials that come up every election season uh we all know they're kind of bullshit and you would love to be able to prove them this is something that just fell on my lap and i went oh, i can prove it and so i did and next thing I know, the entire world is going. We want to talk to you. I got, which is amazing. I've had nobody pe- wants to talk to you. <laughs> yeah. We don't even want to talk to you. Dude, I had a VP from a, uh, a political action uh, committee call me a couple times. I've had lawyers call me. I've had uh, news people call me. News crew that came in here to go and interview me. I mean, you actually look professional, by the way. Yeah, it's amazing. I, I got a haircut. a haircut. Yeah, haircut. thank you for cleaning. Did the you studio. iron your shirt too? Yes. <laughs> What's yeah. amazing? I got all pretty. You have an iron? Shut up. <laughs> Yeah, well, dryer and he, he didn't look like a 10-year-old on picture day. <laughs> From everything we know, the ad has been uh, removed, at least the part that has our actual audio, because no one asked for it or whatever. So that one's not running from what I understand. The other thing is doing some research. It looks like up to $1.5 million was spent from the Medical and Dental Politi- Political Action Committee to create this ad. And, and that means some intern day. for that political action committee got paid to listen to our podcast. Yeah. We don't even get paid to listen to our podcast. That's the best thing of it. <laughs> hey, that's that's the podcast. <laughs> um, there has been a little bit of a, uh, a return. I've noticed that we've had a new ad going out there, an attack ad against <sighs> us. Ooh. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Against us. Uh, Soundboy, can you throw that up on the screen? Yeah, Daddy, as you counsel, I need to hear this immediately. <laughs> A local podcast, the Dirty Dowdy Podcast, caught on tape, the Dirty Dowdy Podcast, in their own words. Let Ace is soak it in. Hang on. Hang yeah, on. that's a <laughs> picture of him. Oh. Stretch it for a second. <laughs> oh. That's kind of his yearbook photo. He looks <laughs> he's he's uh, obviously working with a pistol, a little, yes. a little Derringer. Oh. There's no nuts up there. <laughs> Thank you very much, but do, would you guys will invite us? And if we come to California, can yep. you take us yes. and show us yes. around? All three of you invited. I think he's buying three airline tickets right now. <laughs> <laughs> Which is with 
you not having cancer and calling yourself a cancer survivor for the past six weeks. A show that promotes alcohol abuse and body shaming. Entertainment that makes fun of cancer survivors. A broadcast that willfully involves itself with the shady underworld of Colombian prostitutes. The Dirty Daddy Podcast is wrong. California needs a better class of podcast. Vote no on the Dirty Daddy Podcast. I, I don't... Paid for by some guys that spent a lot of time and money on an ad ruined because some mother <laughs> had to make a video. <laughs> I, w- I wouldn't say that's an attack ad as much as it is like a documentary. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that feels that like a best of our lessons. You, know <laughs> you guys are a bunch of assholes. This is ridiculous. And you know what? We are going to fire back. Rapid fire. <laughs> who are we attacking? Who made this? <laughs> a bunch of assholes. It doesn't matter who made this. <laughs> the Brought to you by the Dirty Daddy Podcast. <laughs> that made this thing are going down, right? And they're going down in so many ways. How many ways? I'm glad you asked. Monetarily, okay? Oh, I really We're talking ask. I mean, <laughs> legatarily. All right? We're talking Did I say monetary? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Say it again though. We're talking monetarily. That's like 3 times. Right? Yes. That's a lot of money. And that's You know what? I'm going to stop there for right now. We'll bring it back later, but we you know what? Monetarily and legatarily, that's bad enough. All right? I'm with you. I I'm expect a check coming your way. <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm we a, get paid. Yeah, fine. I get paid. Come paid? on. What? By no. yourself. It, it's my <laughs> image has been ruined here. Well, that and actually Kenneth got a good portion of that. I'm the one who's... Yeah, I was in like half of those. Do you feel that we body shame you? Yeah. Get over it, Tad. So. <laughs> and stop wearing jerseys from the baby gap. I'm the one who's slandering everybody. I own, I own some money. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways... um. I've been talking. I actually reached out to uh, Olivier's opponent in the upcoming state assembly election, the eighty thirty one, uh, Joaquin Arambula, and uh, twice I've I've reached out to the campaign headquarters before I put the video out just to talk to them and see if I can get them on the show, and then the second time afterwards, which the phone call went kind of like this: uh, "Hey, this is uh, this is Chris Daddy with Longbox. Okay, uh, who's that? What is that?" Uh, he'll know because I was asking for the campaign manager. I figured at this point everyone kind of figures out who I am. He goes, "Oh, um, yeah, I, he's around here somewhere. Hold on," and I get put on hold, and then the phone kind of unholds, hmm. and I hear what? this weird sound in the background with the, uh, "I just get rid of him," <laughs> and, and then the phone hangs up, and I go, "Okay, redial." All right, <laughs> the guy picks up. I'm sorry, man. I, I, I accidentally hung up on you. That's cool. So uh, where's Rich at? And he goes. I'll leave a message for him. Yeah, he just we don't know where he's at right now. He doesn't speak English or something. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, the goal is, and this the challenge has been thrown out and has been accepted already by Clint Olivier. March thirtieth, we are doing a debate oh, here, on. here in the studio, or possibly, possibly on location somewhere. And so we are still hoping that Joaquin Arambula will show up. He's not a, a, an ass. I mean, for God's sakes, the guy's a doctor, so he saves lives and stuff. Um, That's how you get him on your you show, know, is wait. you call him not an ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, he had nothing to do with the uh, ad. I think, if you will allow me here, yeah. I think what Dottie was saying is not an ass to many people. Right. In the sense that it's not... I don't understand lawyer speak. That's right. It's and none of you yeah. should. It's all legality. <laughs> Continue on, Daddy. You were exactly right with what you were saying. Well, we're, we're hoping, and, and it, up to you guys, If you, you guys in the audience, if you want to see this happen, you kind of put some pressure on them. I call uh, The message that I left was, I'm sure with our audience, our demographics and all that, that you probably want to be here because there are probably more people voting for you. As a matter of fact, I feel like I actually owe Joaquin Arambula a vote for all the attention that we've got here in this last week. Sure, if you want to make sense. Yeah, he doesn't watch the podcast. He doesn't get a vote. That's right. I'm just a local broadcaster. <laughs> what the hell's a podcast? If you want to see the uh, KC24 uh, news thing that I did, all goofy looking, uh, that link is up on our website there, longbox.fm. Um, so hopefully we'll be doing that. Do you guys have – I know you guys have kind of been involved. Any thoughts on – So the the ad that was ran on the Fox. Yes. The original one that got all cut up and mm-hmm. stuff. Um, two things. My voice is fucking sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, I heard that on my way to work, not knowing that it existed yet. <laughs> and so I'm just driving like, do 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 I'm going to go to work today. And all of a sudden, I hear my voice speaking to me <laughs> <laughs> through the radio. I'm like, I have not smoked yet. This should not be happening. <laughs> and then I listen to the rest of the commercial. I'm like, those bastards. But He's I like, noticed, yeah, uh, Clint Olivier sounded a little bit chopped up. 
in, in his words. It was just a little bit sloppy on the production end. That Some was jump a, cuts. That made me the most mad. I'm like, people are like, you know, are you upset that they used your? Actually, I said this in the interview. Uh, obviously, it didn't air. I think that's something the most is whoever did that audio job sucks. <laughs> I mean, seriously, you couldn't blend it better. Come on, make it sound a little more organic. Our light bright PD could do a better job. <laughs> I had nothing to do with that ad. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell was that? <laughs> I was say, you sure it didn't sound bad because it came from the show? <laughs> shut up, <laughs> shut up, Moby. Your voice wasn't on their slot, so I, I yeah. Because Yet somehow, and this. Kenneth wasn't yelling amazingly. Well, no, I actually that show. I don't think I was really yelling. No, you were. There was, was just, evidence. Was yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, when you're hammered, you're yelling. That's your only volume. Um, you know, we yeah, have sure. we have a guest here in Nick, and I do think now we've done an interview with you in the past. But we, it wouldn't be a Dirty Daddy podcast with some sort of mole star Kevin questions. I, he's not prepared. Really? Nothing of, chambered? Of course I'm prepared. Oh, hold on. <laughs> it's time for mole star Kevin's questions. No sound buttons. Do I have any questions? First it's question. It's time for mole star oh, Kevin's questions. Where the hell did that come Who from? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> If Jesus sounds like Dowdy, then I'm done. <laughs> first, first, first question. question. <laughs> uh, is this like you hearing yourself on the radio? You don't know what to do? So, uh, hey, how, so how's it going, Nick? <laughs> I've been advised not to answer that. <laughs> Next question. Okay. Um, wh- Second uh, question. Yeah. Thank you, Michael Buffer. Who advised you on that? I'm glad you asked. Dowdy. I'm, oh, right on. Third oh. question. <laughs> question the third. These, these are easy. Okay. Daddy, <laughs> yeah. why'd you advise him not to answer my first question? Because I had 14 different lawyers advise me to tell everyone not to answer any questions to anybody. Including Dick Shapley. Boom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Even, even if it's a, a, a proxy lawyer? Uh, I don't, don't know. Don't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> I plead the fifth. This is my hardest fifth? interview today. <laughs> well, it gets harder the closer we get to the primaries, buddy. No. Yeah, this is this is getting heated up. Uh, what's okay? Next one. Pregunta cuatro. Oh, mong. Okay, multicultural. <laughs> Hit me. Let's go. W- would you agree that government is slightly less effective than a Helen Keller speak and say? Okay. <laughs> now, can I just say about her, everybody? All right. She learned to not read, not write. Not see, speak, or feel the five senses that we know, and the sixth one about seeing dead people. (laughs) But you know what she did learn? She learned a different language, buddy. The language of love. Okay? And if you want to make fun of... If you want to make fun of that... (laughs) Oh my god, this... Next question. (laughs) This very much reminds me of the speech he did at my wedding. I forgot what question (laughs) number we were on. I just want to say that in this... Post 9 11 world. <laughs> oh, God. 16 years later. 16. 15. Oh, that's 15. Right. Good math. Whatever. Jesus. <laughs> it, it, it's really common cares. core math. 14 and a half. Did, did it even Are we really counting happen? the planning time? No, common core oh, is asking what it means. That'd be 19 be 15 years. years. I've, got, I've got a theory. I've, I, I call it the no plane theory. Those buildings, they just did that. <laughs> and everyone, everyone, oh, everyone the knew. The fuck are you talking everyone about? Everyone saw it and they knew <laughs> that that's what was happening. How is this a question? Uh, we'll need some legal advice Not on this. as your lawyer, I still recommend you don't say any more about the buildings at all, all right? Unless it's a Lego representation. There's nothing about the buildings we all agree. Give me five minutes. I'm on this. <laughs> oh, would, you, would you say post 9-11 world for me? Post 9-11 world. Thank I'll you. cut it up. Thank you. That's all I need. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned some things from the uh, the uh, the politicians. The what? The people. Yeah, you can make them. You can make you can make any of us say anything at this point. I, I penis, will. Penis, penis, penis. Wait, no. <laughs> I'm gonna have so much fun with this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make our own political ad right now. Uh. Other than the video. <laughs> well, um, before we go to break, actually, we do have a guest sitting in our audience who's going to be doing the show uh, coming up on the 29th. Uh, I don't know if you want to chat right now or if you want to wait till after the break. Okay. 
we are going to be talking. We're going to be doing our uh, famous, yeah. famous game, the DJ voice off slash ad game slash political version. It's transcending. Oh, oh, yes, God. we're just doing everything all mixed into one cluster bomb here, um, and we're going to be bringing in our famous celebrity politicians, Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton. Okay, sound boy, you're getting a little cray cray with that. Uh, <laughs> someone advise him not to do stupid shit. Uh, <laughs> I have been. For- <laughs> 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 oh, that's Geffen Records. Oh, Do not crap. play that. I actually like this song. <laughs> you give I a man a soundboard, song. you teach him how to get fired. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it's the Dirty Daddy Podcast. We're here on Longbox.fm, <laughs> and we'll be right back with the DJ voice off. <laughs> The Dirty Daddy Podcast on Longbox.fm. Hey, what's up? This is Lars Ulrich from Metallica. And when I'm doing coke, I'm usually listening to the Dirty Daddy Podcast, huh? <laughs> it's the Dirty Daddy Podcast. Prepare to be amazed. I mean, amused. Uh, how many different vocal styles do you have up your sleeve in your armpit? <sighs> it's time to flaunt it if you got it. <clears throat> it's time for the DJ voice off. <sighs> Off. All right, so the Dirty Daddy Podcast is back here at Longbox.fm. Of course, brought to you by Riley's Brewing. Thanks, Thanks Riley. 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 Thank you, so Riley. Good. Riley. And again, Ripley's. this this, uh, this broadcast is copyrighted by the fine folks at Longbox.fm, and anything we do in this following segment no way represents any of the people in the room except for Kenneth. So any lawsuits Ouch. or complaints or any demands for monetary reparation must go to Kenneth. Find him on the internet or listen for his voice. <laughs> like I have money. <laughs> 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 I have practicing. less than you. <laughs> we got a, we got a, this little game we came up with back in the day, the uh, the oh, DJ God. voice off. And, of course, we've done the ad game, which is also a hit. And then, of course, we're in the middle of a political thing. So I figured, why not just do everything all at once? So we're going to talk about hot button, hot button issues here in the Valley. Yeah. And everyone in this room is representing some famous political person running probably for president or attached to him some way suckling on their fame um daddy dead or alive you know, the thingy. or <laughs> living or dead no 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 huh no, well currently. it depends on currently. how you look at some of these people oh gotcha yeah uh, and now, some of may just be most dead of them are dead on the inside we do have <laughs> we have a, do, a new voice to the show here tonight uh ben how you doing from republic i am doing very well Apparently you you're suddenly British. He's drinking some okay. dropkick Molly from Riley. That's, he'll be that'll Piers do Morgan. It. That was that was earlier. Now we're on to uh, the Cougar. Thanks, Riley's. He, you got that down. Cheers. You'll be able to hear him on uh, on March 29th, the Open Mic Podcast. He'll be here doing his thing, the Carnival. Uh, do not out. tune in. <laughs> That's how you get listeners. Right. <laughs> totally shit show embodied. I, <laughs> it can't be any better than this. I mean, worse than this. I mean. Oh, well, yeah. you know. Well, this is all a matter great. of perspective. Thanks, yeah, Riley. You, you were right both times. <laughs> Thanks, Riley. You know, yeah. I've been on the news. Good. You guys should show me a little more respect. Fuck Come on. you. <laughs> As Dowdy's counsel. <laughs> Fuck you, too. <laughs> so many people just told you. <laughs> I can't. He's a stereo F you right there. I, can't. I feel I like as the, the, the Ryan Seacrest heir to the throne, like you've probably got a little bit more working for you, but what the fuck? I got to be more gay, though, right? You know, to be Ryan Seacrest? You both kind of look like I'll tell you girls. right now, as soon as Kopi kicks the bucket, you're in there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> two pain and all. Oh, yeah, by the way, Kopi might be coming on the show soon. So, we have two teams Love that we're Kopi. making up. <laughs> we all wear I've had beer with them. We got <laughs> uh, team or hashtag team law is going to be obviously Nick, Jenny, and Kenneth. 
Dick oh, Shapley. Oh, God. And they'll be playing the roles, respectively, of Donald Trump, Jenny Get will fired. be Hillary and Sarah Palin, and Kenneth has got Chris Christie. And also, Yay. hashtag Team PAC political action committee because mm-hmm. they've kind of sponsored this whole thing yes. um we got molestar playing bernie sanders of course yeah thank you alex doing ted cruz well howdy y'all ben is gonna be marco rubio it's okay guys <laughs> <laughs> and jason is gonna be playing the role of john Kasich. huh what where am i <laughs> oh shit <laughs> and that's pac as a as a lawyer that is pac with a c not a q we love our uh, community of nurses all right we are not being offensive to anybody at that position. well we're trying well. this is what i hate about the pc generation <laughs> <laughs> i'm more of a, a minute, guy. sir millennials <laughs> <laughs> so I figure uh, <laughs> I think everyone gets a shot. We we just go heads up down the row on these four topics that we have and, and we get the points. It's just make sure that everyone gets the equal opportunity <laughs> to make the response. <laughs> everyone gets the same amount of time. If someone else has more time, we're going to take it from them. We're going to give it to the person who doesn't have the same amount of time. I want you my- betcha. I want my buttons. This isn't fun. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go right for the team leaders right up front. It's gonna be Nick as Donald Trump versus Molestar Kevin as Bernie Sanders, and the the hot Christ. button topic that we're gonna talk about: high speed rail. Tell us your campaign. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> Even though you saw me in the bathroom, it wasn't me. <laughs> Donald Trump, give me your view on the high speed rail. I beat China all the time. That's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just one sound bite that you're going to hear tonight, Dowdy. I beat China all the time. You're going to hear it over and over and over tonight. And there's nothing wrong with that. You're fired. I'm hired. I fired myself and hired myself again. You're fired. <laughs> High speed rail. Trump rail. Get there when you get there. Fired or hired, you're on the rail, you'll make it. That bell's ringing because they know I'm right. (laughs) Okay. I'd fuck my daughter. (laughs) Trump pussy. (laughs) Hashtag Trump pussy. (laughs) Retort, Bernie? Yes, um, I I just want to say first uh, that Mr. Trump... For he hires himself, not only did he fire himself, but he got a, a massive severance package from that firing. Now he's making when he gets now that he's hired, right? He goes to hire himself at a low at a low wage. It's 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 unfair. But that's not what we're here for. We're here we're here for the high speed rail. And I'll I'll tell you here this much about the rail. Um, again, it's it's high speed, but there's 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 no need for such a train to have so much speed when other trains go slower and they can't get. Bernie to that speed. looks like a excuse me. This is Lord my time. of the Rings. Excuse me, <laughs> my, my precious with a fright wig I'm, on. I'm going to have to fired. learn as we're having a debate on the 30th. I'm going to have to learn to moderate here, so I'm going to have to calm me down there, Bernie. Thanks, Saudi. This is not fa- he got at least two minutes. <laughs> I went off for like 18, 19 seconds. Bernie hasn't been laid by a Trump in at least 40 to 50 years. He, this this one percent over here has at least 80 percent of the time that we all agreed on. And he's hoarding it. Tell you what, I'm, I'm gonna make this a fair one. I'm gonna give a point to both teams. That that's really the only possible. What way. are you doing? You're hitting. Oh, sound boy. That was me, actually. That's Trump music. You could go online and get any of my downloads free of charge. Except it's 99 cents. All right. Give them both a point. We're going on to the next one. Did you say it's Creed? We've got (laughs) Jenny as either Hillary or Palin. Give us your view on the high-speed rail. I'll pick one. Hillary. All right. Well, my view on the high-speed rail... (laughs) Oh, gosh. I'm so consistent in my views. Now, p- please don't look at my views in 2004, the high speed rail, because I know that my views are very consistent, that the high speed rail is consistently. <laughs> I just want to say, I support your consistency. Not, it, it, because you know that my consistency is consistent and with the high speed rail i have always said it's a very good idea until it comes to fruition and then i will tell you that i'm consistently saying it is not a good idea 
I, I have to that, say that I agree with most I, of what she that said, but felt not like much of it. The, I was watching the the Wizard of Oz there. Uh, let's go with Alex. You're doing a uh, cruise, Ted Cruz. Well, yeah. Howdy, y'all. Um, welcome to Texas. And um, <laughs> wait, no, we're not in Texas. <laughs> Where, oh, um, it's okay, guys. This is New Hampshire. I really, I really wish we had a high speed rail in Texas. I could know anything across. about New Hampshire. God or Mobile. damn it, over there, <laughs> Mr. Christie. If you could please shut your mouth. Um, he eats babies. So- <laughs> Consistency, please. So, um, <laughs> does everyone have a sandwich? Texas is the fastest growing state in the nation right now because I was a senator there one time. And we're going to do really great stuff in Texas because Texas, Texas, Texas. Uh, I was in Texas once back in 1974. They have excellent Aggies. beans. And, um, <laughs> all right, I'm giving the point to Jenny. <laughs> Because I was consistent. This team, is not right. I was in it for one third of this conversation. <laughs> you were not supposed to be one third of this conversation. All right, but. shut up. It's time. <laughs> what the fuck? Sound guy, what are you doing over there? He I guess loves, we're he hey, loves Jolly, bad if you company. want better sound, try Trump sound. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you get the quality that you pay for. It's the okay. sound boy is consistent. I think we should only have one state sanctioned. One sound uh, <laughs> song that's Bernie, played. Bernie, I'm going to need you to Is hold off. Is it me? Oh, does Bernie sound like he got blacker? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, guys. Hey, hey, Trump, you would say some shit like that, but guess what? I mean, we, we can't all have the toupee that you have. Listen, little hands. This is Trump toupee. <laughs> Fine hair from Ecuadorian children who have passed on from natural causes. Trump toupee hashtag. I, I okay. want to say I'm a proud black <laughs> feminist. And as such, I now understand what it's like to be poor. <laughs> Bernie, your pussy has no quality like Trump pussy. Whoa, Trumppussy.com. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is not how you run a campaign. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up in the polls. I'm up in your mom. Trump 2016. You know, I happen to s- support Trump now. And originally I was against him, but now I, I see it as a good option for me. So I'm going to go. God, does anyone have a sound? Go back. Yeah, Thank go back you, to guy from Silence of the Lambs that puts the lotion on it. You're right. Don't. Trump. <laughs> Trump, Trump, Trump. Let it be known right here in front of everybody that Donald Trump supporters eat babies. <laughs> That's right. There's protein, just like Trump steaks. Hey, we have not heard from an important one here. John Kasich, what you got? Who? <laughs> who, who am I again? I, I, don't, I don't know how I got here. I, I, don't, I don't have an opinion on this because I don't exist. I'll give a point to uh, Team Pack for uh, yeah, Team Pack for that. You actually nailed him perfectly. <laughs> Existentialist. Yeah. Let's. Uh, this is the one time I'm going to well, win I know anything I'm in from, this I'm contest. From Texas. Let's go on to a, another important topic here. Mm-hmm. And it yes. feels like I, I don't know if I can just do this now. I, I think I know where you're all going. <laughs> We're going to Texas. Important. <laughs> We're going to make America great again. I won in Texas. I redistributed your slogan. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. hey, man, all you did was just steal land from us, man. I mean, what are you I can do better in before? Texas than Rubio. I was, it's not stealing if if you have a uniform. The junior. <laughs> hey, no uniforms, but we got unicorns. What you got on The that, junior right? senator from Florida lost. You're a loser. I got Buckhead Ridge. I got Cape Canaveral. We won in Altoona. We won in Tallahassee. We won in Kissimmee. We won in Jupiter. There's we won in Hollywood. And we won in not, Cape Canaveral. It was not without the assistance of those roads that you were able to drive hey, man, in the car that you drive. You win in Mexico City. We won. We won in Coral Gables. We won in Kokomo. No one gives a shit about Kokomo. <laughs> Tell that to John Stamos. This ain't, this ain't a Beach Boys song, though. There's All the Beach Boys have had Trump All right, pussy. water <laughs> is important. Why? Trump water. <laughs> My people need water. They need water like they need air right now. They need I mean, Trump water. <laughs> this Thank you, Mr. Boy. Real important things, Mr. Trump. Can we I'm try sorry. to keep this organized, gentlemen? I'm sorry. Can, can we not just squeeze some water out from underneath your two Pay. I mean, shit. I mean, that, that's the way this is going right now. I mean, shit. You sweat so much. I mean, I'm just sitting over here watching you sweat, and I'm I thinking thought you were like Chris this Niagara Falls. <laughs> little, little Rubio talking more about his <laughs> heritage. Hey, look, I got little hands, but apparently 
you your mom's got a big pussy because guess what? <laughs> I am and she oh. better because it's Trump pussy and this, Trump pussy always satisfies. This is a family <laughs> program here, guys. <laughs> really? Hey, Trump. Hey, Trump. <laughs> hey, Trump. Back like Dot Fade has said about it like the 70s. I am your father. Real quick update. Okay. Hillary just dropped out. <laughs> Man, this is a good sandwich. Leading. I'm dropping out Please for the sandwich. Let's hear from Sarah Palin. <laughs> this is a great baby sandwich. <laughs> what, was the, what was the water thing? It, it, give me something about water. I don't care anymore. <laughs> well, yeah, sure. You betcha. I'm a maverick on my uh, <laughs> porch. I can see Russia from here. And we've got lots of water from here to Russia. <laughs> yeah, sure. Don't you know? There's no reason you should have that much water. But <laughs> others have no water. And only seven choices of water to buy at what the store. What you're saying is like hey, putting Bernie, pig, you know lipstick on a pig. Her she can see Alaska and she can see Russia from her Alaska backyard. is greedy, keeping all those icebergs. <laughs> <laughs> what you're hearing, what you're hearing, Bernie Slander, is my vice president <laughs> nominee. I'm letting everybody know here on the Dowdy Co- Podcast. Cod past. Cod past. <laughs> and that's what you get with Trump pussy. Cod flavor. <laughs> That makes you talk New England. Hashtag <laughs> God pass. I still want to say about the trains, I did not finish my original thought. <laughs> <laughs> and I, already, I forgot what it was. Are you going to build a train going to Mexico? I think Sanders? we should get all the trains and just we, they should all share one track right down the middle of the United States. Put them all on the same My people every know about direction. Train. They know about the Underground Railroad. I mean, oh, what you know God. about that? <laughs> Well, don't you know putting a high-speed rail in is like putting lipstick on a pig? It makes I no sense. I'm no a idea what this girl. lunatic is saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give a point to. Uh, she she deserves it. No, no. Who I, gets a point for that? <laughs> Jenny stepping Can up. Can you there take points there. away? Can I talk about water. <laughs> Let me get, I'm giving two points you to betcha. law. I'm giving two points to pack. <laughs> that was that was pretty solid. As long as it's always tied, that's the best way to find out who wins. <laughs> The water is solid from my view. I can see Russia. <laughs> you know who else is solid? <laughs> if you need more points, we could just we'll tax the people with the with like twelve points. <laughs> we'll take two of them each, and then we'll both have eight, and they'll have eight, and everybody will be rich, but not greedy, just be rich. Wow. Yeah. All right, we're so next f- important we're so subject. Okay. Hot button subject. Just happened. The groundbreaking at Fulton. The Fulton Mall where they busted it up. They're going to be putting a street through there to increase commerce and help the downtown revitalization. Thoughts on it? Let's go. Well, Bernie, you're not going to shut up, so why not? I think that they should make that the location of the high-speed rail, but make it slow like other trades so it's, un- so it's-, so it's fair. <laughs> Break and, the streets, and, privatize, lay poor people down his tracks, walk on them, put gold on the street, and only Trump supporters will walk the street and enjoy delicious Riley's beer over there, okay? Poor people will be put to death, gassed even. I support Trump's decision, unlike Rubio. Someone get this man a baby. <laughs> hey. You guys want to put me in the middle of this shit? I mean, I it don't. goes several different ways, but Chris Christie's over here eating enough Krispy Kreme for the entire Eastern Seaboard. Does so anyone I mean, have another donut box? Hashtag Krispy Kreme. <laughs> Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme. Actually, I, I might add that. There's no reason Krispy Kreme needs more than one flavor of donuts. That's okay, because we make, cause can we make some parking meters that are big enough for the smaller hands of the nation? I mean, can we do that? I'll, no. I'll, you sound pretty sad over there, Rubio. <laughs> Kasich, what do you have? Hey. Huh? <laughs> I think the point goes to Kasich. Point, point, <laughs> point to pack. <laughs> This sounded like this sounded like a case of eulogy to me. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, Cruz. Comedy what the hell would you know, Rubio? <laughs> Give me something, Cruz, on uh, Fulton. Howdy, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ted Cruz. I don't know anything about the Fulton Mall. Okay, that was a complete and utter fail. I think Women should elected. not have abortions. Well, Cruz is fucked. <laughs> I think I think Cruz and Kasich and Christie are going to have a little party of their own over there. The pity party. That's quite a baby. Any other thoughts before we move on to our final topic? Well, want- if you look at my emails that I've sent over the year, not just my 
personal emails, but <laughs> those are quite some big my, emails. Uh, my personal <laughs> Hillary's emails back. between my husband and I. He, he's a stand-up. She man. messed up Benghazi. <laughs> she messed up her marriage. Hey, I don't she needs Trump <laughs> pussy. <laughs> I don't want to inject too much here, but uh, my wife, she's a she's a pretty stand-up gal. So oh, I Bill like stepped. In. This is where the hell, bro? No, here. Bill. Yeah, Bill. <laughs> Bill okay. Bill's point. in the house. <laughs> Wow. Shit, I mean, this whole thing is getting crazy. Somebody bring Monica to keep him satisfied. <laughs> oh. oh, she's in the back waiting for me right now. I mean, what am I going to do? <laughs> I'm not getting an equal share of the, uh, of the attention. That's okay, buddy. She's got something for you, too. <laughs> if you check my emails, you'll see that you've gotten a fair share, and I'm consistent with my shares for everyone. Man, I'm I loving think, those I emails. I've all heard enough okay. of your emails. I feel that we need to take away a point from each team. (laughs) There we go. There we go. As as long as it's fair. Well, by fair, you're losing, but okay. No, wait, you're winning. (laughs) Then it's fair. Okay, game (laughs) two. All right, final, final hot button question. This has been a big deal here in the Central Valley and actually all over. uh, Just... Sacramento, all through the states, DC area, um, the the Seattle, uh, Washington, yeah, the okay. uh, the rate, the latest issue, the big blow up with this thing called the Dirty Daddy Podcast. Your yeah, views on it, uh, Trump? Why not? Trump. All publicity is the right publicity, Dowdy. I say, stamp your name on everything: a car, the mall, a pussy. Stamp your name on it and privatize it. Make. America Trump again. <laughs> I don't I don't feel that you answered the question, but but it sounds it's like Trump. hashtag make Fresno Trump, you betcha. <laughs> Dowdy guaranteed if you like Lewinsky, every Trump tie you get from Macy's comes with my personal DNA on it. <laughs> That makes me disturbed. <laughs> Guaranteed. I have to agree with Trump right here. I still don't think it's fair it's that so you guys are just talking. I still, I've never finished my burning. trains. <laughs> <laughs> I had my trains the whole time. And you moved on. And it made me sad. I want more beans from Texas. Those are delicious beans. <laughs> Get Don't listen to, to this guy, guys. I'm donating kids to the Trump Foundation and to the <laughs> podcast on behalf of the Chinese people everywhere in the world. Bringing the I mean, kids, I could do? use a baby right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Christy, you done eating that hot eat dog babies? over there? Uh, <laughs> eating babies is uh, it's a human right. It's what I say, even though I disagree with it unless my supporters agree with it. Remember, I support forward. Trump and Trump babies now. Trump babies. <laughs> All right, I'm making an executive decision here. It feels like some of you are not ready for the race. <laughs> I'm a maverick. You can go back to Alaska. <laughs> Howdy, y'all. Christy for uh, vice president. Go eat a hoagie. <laughs> Dowdy, you're doing the right thing. Stick you're with me. You're taking the neutral stand, and I appreciate what you're doing here. No, right? Dowdy the pussy. I don't you feel listen like to me. <laughs> I don't feel like Take this a point is away from Pac. <laughs> Oh, hey, look, we're tired again. <laughs> Good, now it's fair. We all won. <laughs> I'm going to put this. Hey, so Sanders, you're broadcasting live from the skilled nursing facility, right? I mean, what are you doing over there? Here? I, I, sure, I, think, I think it's a human right. There, yeah, no, I'm down to two. I'm down to two. <laughs> we're going to go Bernie versus Trump. Final, oh. final, final question. Well, final if you point. want to vote for somebody whose hair looks like it could be the pubic of a Betty White and the face <laughs> that could be the vagina of a Betty White, I say vote for Bernie. If you want a winner, vote Trump. And if you want even more of a winner, take Dowdy on. This man stole my slogan. My slogan was, if you want to vote for a man who has hair like Betty White's pubes, you saw that. I, I told you that in confidence. Everyone takes <laughs> Trump. It's because I'm better. You're fired. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Point. <laughs> Point goes to hashtag Team Law. That's right. We won Buckhead. We won Cape Canaveral. We won Cape Coral, Clearwater, Jupiter, Hollywood. If you say Kokomo, I'm going to slap you. Well, you we know what this that. means, Nick. <laughs> Hey, Nick or Trump, you have one minute to talk about whatever you want. That makes me afraid. <laughs> Sound boys got to try it. Can you hit the button? It's the one that says winner horn. <laughs> Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> some sort of Hashtag, hashtag pillow cell phone. Ah, oh, well, listen, this is uh, 
an honor, I gotta say. I mean, in so many ways. Um, there's so many political platforms I'd like to take a stand on right now, but I think one that is probably most important and special to my heart, okay? Today. Circumcision. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> all right? Now, listen. We're not old enough to say yay or nay, all right? We're not old enough to have a quorum. We're not old enough to have somebody like a Trump in our corner to say, yeah, put it on, take it off, put it on again. But I think those of us that have been circumcised prematurely, and I don't use that in any negative context, should be able to have it back on. Now, listen. If you've <laughs> lost the skin at this point, that's okay. <laughs> They've got things like prosciutto, okay? They've got things like uh, Play-Doh. Silly putty. Uh, Is that like case. smegma? Why are you pointing at me with silly putty? Well, <laughs> I mean, you know, I Nick as a ginger friends. American. No, as a ginger American, <laughs> I think that you should be able to attach it. I don't even. Know. I don't a know. Ginger what American. <laughs> uh, are you? So- I I, I've got excess scrotum. If you want some of that, what? I've got, I've got plenty is, of scrotum. I'm yeah. glad. I'm glad that we are going to be housing a political <laughs> de- debate Dude, here. I, 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 I could do. I could do an entire flagpole with the waving flag. Like it's it's impressive. And this See, is I've not got a enough for the thing, right? Tower this is a, I'll, I'll it. Snapchat it to this you. This is a human what, rights what, thing. What, Thank you. I, I feel there's why, so much editing why? coming here. Um, <laughs> We are going to take a very fast break. We're going to come back with the tardies. It's uh, the Dirty Daddy Podcast on Longbox Out FM. Thanks, Trump and Bernie. Ow! Definitely. This segment of the show is brought to you by Riley's Brewing, local made craft brews for any occasion. Try our Sancha, Cougar, or the all new Riley's Hard Root Beer today. Make YouTube your tube by searching out Longbox FM on YouTube.com. It's music, videos, and live webcasts. Watch it all at YouTube.com by searching out Longbox FM. The Dirt Daddy Podcast back after a one week, four, five, or four or five week vacation cut short to uh, capture one week. Yeah. to capture this huge audience that took us viral, made things big, and I think we get back to normal next week, right? Yeah, can I have the thirtieth off? <laughs> yeah, I kind of want that off too. <laughs> I think we might have it off after tonight's show. Um, <laughs> still, I'm hoping Joaquin Rambula and uh, well, I know Clint Olivier said he'll be back on. Mm. We'll see now, but uh, <laughs> after after this debacle and and all the things that we get into, and would and you say it's a boondoggle, Dowdy? I've learned boondoggle. that that was a mistake. <laughs> I won't do that ever again. Thank you. Um, so my bad on that, Nick. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Hey, you got it, man. And now it's time, Kenneth. Captain Baby Gap, you get your chance for the Tardies. I really get sick of your shit sometimes. Hey, everybody, this is the Tardies. Fat got shaming. Got award. I am now flexing for the show. No, nah, we got hashtag Careful the night not tonight. To we got pop a se- ripple. Not you shut the hell up. <laughs> so we got we've got several awards tonight, but we have a ton of hashtags tonight. We had DDP Live make Fresno better, and then Team Law from the last one. Yeah. But we also had several other hashtags. We had thanks Ripley's. <laughs> <laughs> Came well out of nowhere, actually. Uh, we had Team Cod Pass, Team Krusty Cream. <laughs> Uh, and team make Fresno Trump, you betcha. You but I think the winner. <laughs> they should win. I think nope. the winner of the hashtag of the night goes to Wong Choice. Oh, wrong choice. <laughs> Wait. Dowdy actually wins a hashtag award. Uh, I'm very excited. As it's, your counsel, do not accept that. <laughs> and he also wins the Dowdy Award for ruining political careers. Yeah. Oh. Hooray. Oh. Yay. Yay. 
Give Donnie the shit bag. Everybody clap. Personal apology, Clint. I (laughs) hope I do you better in the future. No, we'll strike that. Again. (laughs) We have a worst joke of the night that goes, Mm -hmm. I got to say, and I'm deeply (laughs) proud and disappointed at the same time in this. Goes to me. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Hey, sis, wanna buy a baby? <laughs> Worst joke of the night. Yeah. Is that your pickup line? No, no. Hey, <laughs> hey yeah. sis, wanna... no, it's not. No, it's, hey, hey, sis, do you want a baby? Do you want a baby? That's what we, he said. Before That's I go on to the next awards, joke. we have a worst Chris Christie impression, which also goes to me. Shocking. And we <laughs> have a best quote unquote emails, which goes to Jenny. Yay! Jenny gets the best Hooray! emails award. My emails are the Her best. Her emails win. Yes. I don't think you know what email means. Yes, what? it does. <laughs> <laughs> we have a best moment to the show, which also ties for the most awkward plug, and I believe that goes to Molestar. <gasps> what? For Kevin's questions. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. That oh, no, was pretty dude. awkward, and it was pretty awesome. But we have an MVP of the night, ladies and gentlemen, and that goes Dowdy! to Dick Shapley. Oh, damn. Yay! Oh, yes. For his Trump impression. He could not oh. have done And for his random Thank interjections you. throughout the whole fucking show. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love to interject anytime, anyplace. So he, as a reward, gets a whole nother minute. Another minute? Another minute? Of another Dick another you minute. You are just handing out minutes. <laughs> Willie? I'm kind of Nilly. disappointed at how many minutes we're handing Dick Shapley. Where are those minutes coming from? <laughs> I hope not my data plan, because I actually just got a text that says I'm all out. Well, mine, aren't pre- <laughs> mine are prepaid, so oh, they must okay. be coming out of Dowdy's minutes. And that was the time when Kenneth stops talking, and now we get Dick Shapley. Ah, okay, listen, you know what? Uh, I'm glad I'm glad I had this time because there is a new process. It's uninterrupted minutes, though. Don't forget. Shut up, no, Hillary. <laughs> started. All right. You betcha. <laughs> There's something called the jazzling that I think the world needs to know about. If you haven't found out already, and it's not just for women anymore, right? Have you heard of rhinestones? Yes. Have you heard of hot glue? Yes. Have you heard of pubic areas? Yes. Now let's put all of those together. Nope. Now everybody knows that the 17th is coming up, right? You and said that, hot glue and pubic area. That, of course, is your holiday uh, where all the uh, ginger Americans and the uh, Riley's loving Americans come together on the 17th just to make a mockery of both uh, religion uh, and drinking. Thank you, Ripley's. And what a better way. Thank you, Ripley's. And what a better way to do that than to rejuvenate your pubic area by getting bejazzled. All right? And I'd like to say, get bejazzled again. How about right? bejazzled? Can we oh, change it to hashtag whoa. bejazzled? Bejazzled? Yeah. Digazzle. Next time. For the dicks. Ooh. And then for the questioning, quajazzle. Ooh. Right? How about uh, ball jazzle? Oh. I would it doesn't roll off the tongue nope. quite as much. I nope. would say a furious nope. no. No. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't roll off the tongue as much as the dick jazzle. No. Well, also, the ball, ball jazzle like. would probably make me punch the jazzler. Well, so, I mean, if you're gonna, <laughs> oh, the jazzler. Wait, that is can the I just give a, a, a Speaking of the you know Irish and whatnot, uh, can I speak on behalf of Riley's for the awesomeness of their dropkick Molly? There were two beer Perfect. bottles of this left in the fridge. Three of us standing in the fridge. I ended up with both. We were all doing combat. <laughs> I, you're doing a good thing for America. Her emails won. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it is that it good. It works. <laughs> Let's uh, talk about the guests coming up that won't be coming up now. Uh, we have <laughs> tomorrow night, the Open Mic Podcast is back. Evan, uh, Comedians, Evan Faulkner, uh, previous guest to the podcast here, uh, Christopher Cruz, mm-hmm. and uh, Carmen Gefkin are going to be on the show. They're going to be doing their own thing, so please check that out tomorrow at 7 o'clock. And, of course, next week, here's my Oprah moment. We have director Matt Sconce coming onto the show. He's he's the director of a, a uh, local, small-budget, uh, like, found footage horror movie that they're, starting, they're, they're getting ready to push out there. We're going to interview him and possibly some of the people from the movie next week. And to be prepared for that, we're getting a secret code. Those of us who are part of the show, so, sorry, uh... Sorry, my lawyer and Ben, you guys don't get it. But all of you guys get to watch a movie this next week to be prepared. You all get a movie. Kevin, you get a movie. All right. Jason, you get a movie that you don't have to illegally download. Oh, all right. So you won't get in trouble. Yes. (laughs) Kenneth, you... Never mind. Uh, the ginger gets a movie. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's going on next week. Um, and I know we didn't we didn't get to the Stone Shiver tickets. So I'll tell you what. If you uh, if you call me in five minutes at 492-0450, first one to call me just gets the tickets. Go see their, their show. We'll do it that quick. What's that, that number easy. again? One more time. 492-0450. It's on the screen. Oh. 
Yeah. Oh, there it is. Check. Uh, you know, uh, look at and for those of you who are actually reading, we thought of everything. We have numbers now. And with that, <laughs> I got all the numbers. <laughs> oh, all the numbers of fear. Dude, where were you, man? <laughs> you betcha. You were a sleeper. <laughs> they work at this got point. <laughs> and with that, this is Dowdy saying for everyone in the room, word. Word. Word, word you betcha. You've been listening to the Dirty Dirty well, Cluster. Well, that was a horrible sure. clusterfuck. You know, that, <laughs> that was wonderful. That was a yeah, wonderful you cluster. You do a pretty good birdie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he sounds as pretty Yeah, I know. Holy yeah. <laughs> 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 really oh, shit, you're right. I've never heard him talk before. I'm, I'm going to get out and do him. You get a picture, picture when you were right. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hold on. Let me change the screen first. Watch out, I think. So it's not us. In front of us, in front of us, in front of us. What a picture! Oh, it's Christy. Don't take picture. up the whole screen. Huge baby. Hey, don't leak your emails. <laughs> yes. Are my emails clear? Yes. <laughs> They're not backed up though. Hey, uh, Keegan, how do I kill the the flashy lights? We button. don't need backup button. emails. Any button. <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> <laughs> Not that one. Oh god! Well done. Smart day. All right. Say Bernie for president. Bernie, Bernie, Bernie. for Bernie. Donald Trump. Trump pussy. Bernie. Trump pussy. Trump Bernie. Trump pussy is like butter. I don't know, if you're trying to fuck Prada? Hashtag boobs for Bernie. <laughs> boobs for Bernie. Trump Prada, Prada you know. Was breastfeeding in one of Bernie hey. Sanders' rallies. Hey, always a pleasure, my man. Yep. That's cool. Cool. See that was cool. That was awesome. She was killing that guy. And he at nine. Fuck, dude. She was breastfeeding. Yeah. Yeah. It's first time we're on time. Dude, the kicker on this is that when you see the picture, she's got the iPhone 4.